Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and hi if you're new here. So in today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to do a Fenty Body Lava v the Huda Beauty Nymph and give you my kind of first thoughts, first impressions and kind of a mini review on the products. So yeah, if you'd like to see them, please can you continue to watch. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you do enjoy my videos and thank you to anyone who has subscribed recently thank you so much so yeah i'm just gonna get on with the video and it run through a little bit about each product oh i am sad i'm not naked by the way i just have a crop top on the, uh, the fenty beauty Body Lava it comes in, I believe there's three or four shades of these. I picked up Trophy Wife, which has a little bit of a golden tinge to it. I'm just going to quickly turn my hair up. My layers have snapped on my hair, so I just cannot stop touching it. So yeah, the Body Lava is £46 for 90 mils, which is quite a lot. The bottle is gorgeous and it's glass. It's so pretty and looks really nice on your vanity. So that is like a massive plus for this already. And obviously like the different versions that they do are the different colours of it. Blend to clean dry skin with the face and body kabuki. Apply to body, arms, legs, shoulders, collarbone, anywhere you want to glisten. So that sounds good. So it doesn't necessarily say for the face. The Huda Beauty is 55ml, so you get 45ml less of product. Is that right? Um, and it said it's transfer proof, streak free and gorgeously glowy. The Silky Formula is your fast track ticket to radiant sun drenched skin no actual sun required idea for buffing over legs arms collarbones mixing into the foundation under foundation luna is perfect for lighter tones with a white gold shimmer with hints of silver and rose gold so yeah i'm gonna give these a whirl so yeah, I'm just going to apply some of the Liquora Snapshot Glow Primer and I think this will help if, say, it's too, if the Fenty one may be too kind of oily and it will help for the Huda one if it is a little bit hard to blend. So I'm just going to apply some of this in to the skin and this is what I'd apply for any primer or anything that I was going to apply under foundation just so that my skin is all one texture and nothing's going to cling or anything like that so I'm just going to take a I can't get the brush for either of these because sometimes I think that it's a little bit of a waste of money so I'm just going to take the Huda Beauty Luna on one side of this brush it's just like a clean kabuki brush i'm just going to spray it with some of this water and then i'm actually just going to spray it on the face oh god it's all come off and then i'm just going to quickly as fast as i can just blend it in onto this side of the face yeah just from kind of the um off the first bat I can smell a really really strong scent of coconut which isn't I'm not mad about it or anything like that but I do feel like for such a luxe product like this I do feel like probably I wouldn't have personally gone for a coconut scent as I do I think coconut really is for sun cream and fake tan and that's it <laughs> I do think it is quite a sickly smell, but as you can see, I may have applied a little bit too much there. But yeah, you can definitely see the kind of radiance of that and kind of what effect this gives you. So on the other side, I'm just going to apply some of the Fenty. So 
yeah this is the one in trophy wife and i did think when i tested it in shops that it wouldn't be um right for me but it is that ever such a, a small hint of the yellow so it does look really really nice so yeah you can definitely see that we have product on the face i do think it looks really really nice to feel the fenty one does feel a little bit sticky and the Huda one has basically dried down flat completely so yeah I'm just going to apply some of my foundation over the top which is the MUA Pro Base in 146 I think just off the bat right now if I was to recommend one of these to you guys I would say that if you do have more of the dry skin and you do want to wear it on your face then I would definitely go for the Fenty just because it has got that little bit of stickiness and it's not going to kind of cling to any dry bits to your skin like perhaps the Huda one might but we'll soon see. At the minute, my skin is kind of normal to combination, isn't overly dry or anything like that. So yeah, this foundation on me is kind of the only one that I've recently found that I don't really need to powder. So yeah, we'll see what happens with these underneath. But yeah, it's kind of looks normal as to how it usually looks. I'm just going to apply the Revolution Conceal and Correct in Banana. So yeah, that concealer has blended in really, really well. And the foundation just looks basically the same as I usually apply it with obviously the glow underneath. So I'm just going to fill in my brow. now going to take some of the Huda Beauty Nymph as a highlighter. I'm not going to do the same for the Fenty just because I'm just not sure how it will go. I don't know whether the consistency is a little bit thin but I'm just going to take a really damp beauty blender and kind of do what I do with the Iconic London Drops and kind of tap this on my hand and then Kind of take this on the cheekbones like so. So as you can see it looks really really nice as a highlighter. And it's good that you can get a few different ways out of this product than just kind of a body highlighter. I think that looks really nice. I might try the Fenty. I just, I'm scared. So 
So yeah, just to set everything, I'm just going to spray some of the hydro water, what I usually do. And this kind of just gives everything a little bit more of a glow. And then I'm just going to tie my hair back up. So just as an overview, before I start applying some on my chest area um i really do like the hoodie beauty one the fact that it can be so multi-use i think this would look really nice mixed in with moisturizer as well um it goes really nice under foundation as we've seen and it is really nice as a highlighter but the problem is it sets really really quickly um i'm not sure how else i would apply it but if anyone has any recommendations please let me know but the thing what just worked for me was damping it with a wet beauty blender and quickly just patting it on um and it has left a really really nice glow which i'm not mad at um i am really not keen on the smell i thought at the beginning it was really nice but the more that i keep applying it it is quite sickly and i just think for such like a luxe brand they would have kind of made the scent a little bit more kind of nicer and a bit more like luxurious whereas the Fenty one doesn't really have much of a scent if anything which I much prefer for something that you're wearing on your body which you'll be able to smell kind of all throughout the evening or whatever so I'm going to apply some of the Fenty the left and the hood on the right so I'm just going to As you can see now, it has got that like gorgeous yellow tinge to it. And I'm just going to kind of use the little brush that we used before. This is so nice. So yeah, it has just left that tiny little bit of a yellow tinge which I think is so nice. Let me just kneel back up. So you can see all the little bits of glitter. It's so nice. I can smell kind of a tiny little bit of glitter, but nothing, uh, a little bit of vanilla, but nothing major. I'll just put my flashlight on so you can see. It is so pretty. So yeah, just after applying that, that it's kind of blended properly, it's not gone streaky or anything like that. The only thing is, it is very, very... It is very, very sticky on the skin. Um, so yeah, that is probably the only downside for that at the minute. And then I'm just going to apply some of the hooder on this side. But yeah, because this hooder bit, hooder one has a little bit of colour in, it kind of gives your skin like an airbrushed effect just because it has that slight bit of colour in. And it will give your kind of arms, legs, wherever you want to put this, kind of like an airbrushed kind of look. And as you can see, it's got more of that kind of frost shimmer than full on like glitter particles. But then the bit about it drying down, at least it's not going to hopefully not transfer onto clothes. Whereas the Fenty one might as it's sticky and tacky. So yeah, that is them both side by side. Hi 
Hi guys, so to conclude the video, when I first started this I was like so sure that I knew which one I would prefer, but um, at the minute I don't. So um, the good points of the Huda Beauty one is that you have a few uses out of this, it's not just for your body um, kind of thing, your legs and your arms and collarbone, you can use it on your face, under makeup, as a highlighter. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't smudge, it's very easily blendable, it's not sticky, so yeah, but you are only getting 55ml of product, whereas the Fenty you get 90ml, which is a lot more for an extra £6. Um, on these there is three shades, I believe with the Fenty there are three or four, um, but I believe a few may have sold out. Uh, the Fenty, obviously you are getting more, um, this may be better under your foundation if you have got drier skin as it has got that little bit of tack that isn't going to stick to any dry patches or anything like that. Um, you cannot use it over your foundation as a highlighter as the consistency is quite thin and I'm not sure whether it would actually um, stick over your foundation for that but it is really nice under the foundation as we've tried um, the only downside to this I'd say is the stickiness apart from that um, it's a pretty awesome product really um, I thought that I was gonna like end up hating this at the end of the video but I do really like it, it hasn't got like a strong scent like the other one um, so yeah if you can get like little samples on eBay, that's probably the best thing that I'd suggest getting. You can get the little 2ml sample pot so you can actually try the product and then before you do spend the money on it as both are quite expensive really. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for anyone who has recently subscribed and thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!